Well, hello YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Today is eclipse day, a very exciting day. Feels like a normal morning, but it will not be for long because it is going to be completely dark, apparently, in a couple of hours. So, if you didn't watch my last video, then you don't know what we've been doing for the past couple of days. We have been fishing and exploring and camped out last night, which speaking of the car, we also got a flat tire in that last video. <sighs> but we are camping out for the weekend fishing. We did a little bit of almost antelope hunting. We found some antelopes that we might go after later today and camped out for the eclipse. So we are ready to go. We're just kind of waking up and getting things going. Even though we're car camping, this is our backcountry setup, if that makes sense. So, let me take you over here. So, there's our tent. It is a two-man spike tent. You can see we added in a blue tarp because it is floorless. It is held up using trekking poles. And then we have Nick's sleeping pad, which he already deflated. Mine, our sleeping bags and then water and stuff like that. So that's our setup. I'm going to just kind of get myself together, get everything packed away, and then we'll, you know, we'll continue with the fun. Things are starting to warm up nicely. Nick is gonna keep fishing for a little bit. I am going to shoot my arrows with broadheads on them, probably at 20, 30, 40 just to make sure that they're still flying okay. Kind of just have a little bit of time. Everything will start in about an hour, so I'm gonna shoot my bow a little bit, make a couple casts, and then go from there. Oh, cool. Well, Nick is catching all of the fish. I got my rangefinder around my neck. I'm gonna shoot my bow for a little bit. I'm finally like a little bit cleaned up. We ended up talking to a nice fellow who's nearby, who super cool, involved in conservation. So we were chatting for a bit, but now I'm gonna shoot my bow. Although Nick's kind of got me thinking that I should be fishing because he is doing really good. But the eclipse should be starting. So, we'll reach totality in about an hour. But until then, let's shoot the bow. I'm just gonna shoot one at a time. Instead of shooting multiple arrows with broad heads at each other, mess up all my fletchings, I'm just gonna keep running back and forth. Look at it! Check out these goofy glasses. I thought that these were just a hoax and I was like, why would somebody buy these glasses? Like, just wear sunglasses. But holy crap, it has started. Hold on. So cool! Now I'm using, can you see that? Now I'm using a field tip to see how they are flying in comparison with the broadhead. Good news is, field tips are flying the same as broadheads. So I wanna move back to 40 yards. I'm at 30 right now. And keep shooting. Nick just had two misses. <laughs> Thank you. 
<laughs> oh my god, I'm so jealous. One? The other one swam off. Okay, well here, I'm gonna fish now. Nick caught a cutthroat and I'm jealous, so I'm gonna fish now. <laughs> give the hole a rest and then I'll fish it again. I'll keep shooting. Plus I need to check on the eclipse. See how that's coming along. Come on. Wow. That's the eclipse you guys. So friendly neighbor who we were talking to earlier, his camp is across the way and we just saw two antelope like running through his camp, looking very distressed. So he was hunting also. So I think he may have either stalked them and spooked them away or hopefully shot one. But Nick just went over to check. Do you see how like freaky the lighting is getting? You might not be able to tell on camera, but the lighting is getting crazy meeting up with Nick, seeing what the verdict is from the man across the way. What do you say? It's smoky. It is really smoky. He didn't even see him. What? They were sitting down watching the eclipse and I told him they literally ran the fence row and went, they were 100 yards from the camp. He was like, no way, I had no idea. That's cool. How freaky is the lighting getting? I don't know if it's the lighting or if it's just smoky. Look, look I feel like it's creepy. That's smoke from a fire. And we have no clue where or how big. It was smoky already this morning because there are smaller fires going on, nothing major. But I know that it was a really big concern that there, the, the potential for fires starting this weekend was huge just because of so many people who want to, you know, want to view the eclipse and don't know that they can't build campfires right now, etc. But the smoke is rolling in thick and look at this. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's it. Wow. I'm getting really creeped out. Almost reached totality. Smoke's getting worse. The lighting's getting weird because of the eclipse. I actually have anxiety right now. This is weird. Temperature's dropping. All right, guys, last look before, before it slivers away. That's it. Oh my God. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. I might have my first panic attack. Oh my god. Let's take a shot. Calm down. Okay. Oh my god, I'm watching it go away. It's just like probably a minute. Wow, it's so dark. <gasps> oh my god, it's not Oh my god, look at the Look at that thing. Welcome to the eclipse. I want to try and get a picture of that. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, it's reappearing. <gasps> oh my god.
my god. I'm speechless. Are you still filming? <laughs> I probably look like such an idiot because I'm so in awe. It's crazy. That was like the most amazing thing I've ever experienced. Oh my god. I think I just had like a panic attack and I don't even know, like an out of body experience. <laughs> that was amazing. That was so amazing. I don't think we really captured the way that it looked when you looked directly at the sun during the eclipse, the total eclipse. I don't even know what to say. I'm just baffled. I'm amazed. That was incredible. I'm so happy that I was able to experience that. And all of a sudden, I feel so much more calm. Even though there's clearly a raging fire. Let's get some fish! The eclipse is still going on. So here, I'll show you where, where we are at in the reverse side of the eclipse. There we go. So look at it. That is the moon on its way out. Woo! So wait, do you want to tell the camera what just happened? Sure. You what? I missed one. Haha! <laughs> Nick missed twice, I missed once, all on the same fish. <laughs> so that is a Steri pen. That's what we are using to make our water drinkable and safe. We're also going to cook some food right now because we want to fish the rest of the day and we need some food for our bellies. But we ate all of our like quote unquote real food yesterday so we're left with mountain houses. My first cutthroat, and that is the big fish yesterday that Nick saw feed like four or five times, and that was so cool. <laughs> During all of the commotion, we lost Nick's hat, which was totally my fault, because if you watch the footage back, he hands me the fish in the hat, I put it in the water to, you know, keep the fish happy, and then, next thing you see, I just bring the fish up and his hat just floated downstream. So he's a little sad because that was one of his favorite hats. One thing that I'm learning from all of this is that we really need a net. I think we're doing a good job handling them. That's all good, but it's really hard to get good footage without a net. Because I feel like if you have a net, the fish can stay happy, not saying that, you know, 
you should mess around with a fish too long even if you have a net because that'll stress them out regardless i'm just saying we need a net <laughs> <Almost fell. laughs> well that was a crazy day caught a lot of fish shot the bow saw a total solar eclipse holy cow that was cool we are headed back home very tired wanted to fish more but i think it's time to go home and get ready for the rest of this week so anyways so thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to share this video with any of your friends that love the outdoors as much as we do. And we will see you guys in the next 